it's minus 25 degrees Celsius. And today I thought I would show you what our everyday life looks like here in the cabin. Basically what a normal day looks like. Everything from what it looks like to live out here without running water in the winter, to what we eat in a day and the projects we're working on right now. If you're new to the town, my name is Kalle. And I'm Christine. And here we have our first husky, Nala. And this is our more skeptic husky, Tuss. How do you like the temperature this morning? <laughs> I'm just sitting and thinking about I'm hoping I'm soon collect all of this because I just want to go inside. It's so cold. What do you want to eat? We have eggs and bacon, eggs and bacon, and eggs and bacon. <laughs> uh, 
Um, eggs and bacon, thank yeah. you. Perfect, we have that. Yeah, <laughs> that was lucky. Can I get an orange as well? oranges. <laughs> I had one job. Is this not for you? Yeah. Smoking more tea? Thank you. I don't exactly know when this happened, but at, <laughs> at some point in my life, I became a bird person. Um, that wasn't a thing when I lived in the city, but since I moved out here, I just can't stop feeding these birds and just, I can sit for hours inside the cabin and just look out the window and just look at this thing for hours. I know the birds' names, I know what their uh, chirping is, what it sounds like. Uh, and I would all the different species. I don't know what happened and <laughs> how I aged this quickly. Because I, when I think of a person just sitting looking at birds all day, I think of a very old, retired old man sitting on a porch in a rocking chair or something. But apparently this is me at 34 years old, looking at the birds and squirrels for hours. So what are you doing today? Me and Tus gonna have a live stream with the woman circle. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think Tus gonna be the host today. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm a very good host. <laughs> no, I'm going to the house to have a live stream with a woman circle and writing a newsletter. Huh? So that's gonna be fun. And for people who have no idea what the woman circle is? Is a membership site I have where we are a lot of women from all over the world 
that's meeting up once a month and uh, talking about woman life and hanging out and yeah having different subject and then I'm sharing every month like a subject with them about health and yeah so yeah, like a dif different theme every yeah, month yeah exactly oh. <laughs> Do you want to tell people where we're going next week? Yeah, we're going to Yakmuk. Yeah. And doing something so exciting. I mean, like, it's something, I have two things, um, I'm more things, but I have on two things list. on my bucket list I really want to do. Mm -hmm. And this is one of them. Yeah. So. I'm but the funny thing is, like, you, um, last time we did an adventure together, you were not really prepared for it. Yeah. Uh, you didn't really Google where we were going or checking up. No. And yesterday you checked up the place <laughs> where we're going, like just a few days before we're actually heading out. Yeah, I know. And what did you feel when you Google it? I'm a bit nervous, <laughs> to say the least. I was like calling you and like... like is that the place it, we're going to? It looks a bit wild. <laughs> I was like... yeah. So we're going... We say that we live in the north, but we live in the like the south part of the north. Yeah. Uh, and now we're going almost... Uh, almost 10 hours straight north on a very big four-day adventure so very excited about that so if you want to follow along and watch this video as soon as it comes out i highly suggest going to christine and my instagram to just get a daily uh, update on the adventure it's going to be a youtube video in the end as well but if you want more behind the scenes content i would highly recommend the instagram <laughs>
one and a half hours in the morning and then one and a half hours in the afternoon. So in total around two to three hours each day, which is so healthy for me because I know if I didn't have the dogs, I would sit way more inside. So them are they are literally <laughs> pulling me out of the cabin, which is perfect. Because I read a study quite recently that the average like American walks around three to four thousand steps a day which is nothing which is scary nothing i don't want i don't just want to blame Amer americans but the, the study was on americans and it just scares me like three thousand three thousand steps is barely moving i feel like um, an average day for me right now maybe fifteen thousand around uh, if i have more work at home it's around ten thousand maybe but if you do these walks with the girls it's yeah, you're getting up there quite quickly. I don't say these numbers to brag in any way. <laughs> That's not the point. I don't want to brag about my steps. The point is to just like acknowledge that we're moving way too little today. We're sitting still way too much in front of our computers and our phones. So we need to get out here, move, breathe some fresh air, think about something else and work and just enjoy it. So we're always following these ones. It's the official symbol for scooter tracks. And they go on forever and ever and ever. It's to lead out the different path you wouldn't find if it was the summer actually. So you get to see different things in the winter compared to the summer. Maybe this is a symbol that everyone has in their country. I have no idea. Uh, but I feel like it's kind of a Scandinavian thing. To a sun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good man. <laughs> yeah, when you stand still for like two seconds, they're bored. But as you can see, I have to lose the majority of my time. Huskies normally have a very strong hunting instinct, uh, but for some reason, Tuss, we can actually keep her close, which is quite nice. As long as she doesn't see a wild animal, because then she's just off. But Nala, the white one, is just. <whistles> Nala, come. Yo, hey! Yeah. <laughs> Nala runs away the second she gets loose. So we can't trust her for just one second, which is a bit bored, bo boring, but it's part of having huskies, I guess. See? <laughs> I would say that this is the most underrated thing on the entire planet, taking a nap in the middle of the day. Funny enough, I used to make fun of people taking naps in the middle of the day, telling them like, oh, you're so old, you need to rest. But now I totally get it. <laughs> it's so nice. Now I'm going to show you our biggest project we're working on right now, or have been working on since November. Ta-da! our A-frame. So this is gonna be in my office and studio one day. Should we take a look inside? 
I have this now covering just for not letting any snow in because there is no door yet. Okay, that, this might be a bit tight. Here we are. This is what it looks like. We just put in the floors and now this is on. So behind this one, we're gonna put insulation in those compartments. Like insulation that you see here, basically. These ones. Or something similar to it. And the green thing is gonna be here as well. And then over here. When people see the A-frame, especially on video like this, it seems quite small, but for an office or a studio, it's kind of perfect. Like when I'm standing here, I cannot even be close to reaching the ceiling. And if I'm standing, say here then, that's gonna be easier to see. Like, same thing here. Like I can't even touch, the, there's the ceiling gonna be. So if it was only these walls going like that, if that makes sense, and if I didn't have this, compartment here, then it would be quite small. But since we have this little thing here, that's gonna be a major difference. And here you can see the view as well. So that over there, that's the main cabin. So all the way up here is about 80 meters of walking. And if you're curious on how we built this place, I've actually already made two videos about it. Part one and part two. And now we're in part three, I would say. Uh, but I will make an official part three where I talk about more the floor and the insulation and everything. But if you want to check out part one and two, there's a link down in the description. Every single winter, or spring I would say, I worry about that, uh, that we're gonna run out of wood. And each year I collect more firewood, Then each year I also get nervous that we're gonna run out. And now when we have the sauna, I worry even more because I use a lot of firewood on the sauna. So next year I think I have to order even more uh, and cut down the, some more trees even. It's always a bit of a puzzle. I'm just trying to find some birch trees with some bark on it. Because we didn't call this uh, nave. It's very easy to make fires with. Thank you. 
this hole is a perfectly good size when we're just getting drinking water. Um, but now I'm gonna take a swim in this when I do the sauna. So it needs to be a bit bigger. So the smart thing with this is that this compartment now is going to be heated up by the stove and then I can use this as, sh as showering water uh, when the sauna, when I'm done with the sauna. The most important thing is to just keep breathing no matter what. Calm and deep breath, deep breaths. And I think that goes for for anything in life. If you get like want to push yourself out of your comfort zone, you have anxiety. Just keep breathing. It's so fascinating when you're in here. You can really, really feel your pulse dropping.
Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you did like it, please press please <laughs> please press like on the video here on YouTube as well. That would really mean a lot. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon again and keep breathing. Okay. <laughs> Can't get out the door. <laughs> Look, so yeah, oh, you, you, go on. He had the same look as me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ah, ay, ay, ay. Ah. <laughs> I'm really short. One of the reasons I actually started the newsletter to start with. <sighs> to start, to start, to start. Now, oh. <laughs> That was not easy.